YouTube, YouTube, I'm back with a quick update, Crown Vic Nation, what's happening everybody, I want to say thanks for all the new subscribers, thanks for everybody who's been hanging around for a decade with me, but I'm just trying to, this is a channel for all new subscribers that you can relate to, you know, this is not a Cletus channel, this is not a channel where we just build cars in two days, you know, a hundred thousand dollar cars and all that, you know, I'm just trying to be something relatable to everybody, you know, uh, the average person, you know, who works, you know, whatever, hustle, whatever you do. So, uh, that's what this channel was about. I know some people knock my channel for not having many views, but you know, people like those channels where they build a car in two days, you know, that's a lot of money spent. So, I'm trying to be relatable to the average everyday guy. So I'm back with a quick update for anybody who uh, wants to learn how to build a performance type valve body. As you can see from the last time, I have all my assemblies back in. Um, I just want to explain right quick. When you get the zip kit, it is not a shift kit by itself. As you can see what the box states, correct certain circuit pressure losses, um, addresses the root cause of common failures and problems. And um, this particular kit doesn't you know, need any reaming. So that's what you want. So um, the kit, like I say, by itself is not a shift kit. This kit that I'm doing is a personal style of doing it. And I re re repeat, there's many companies who sell different springs, different this and that. So you can customize this as just as much as you would do a motor. So um, just want to show you guys. I put all my assemblies in there. I just call these assemblies. Um, I just circled them, which ones I did. Um, as you can see, like this one right here, because you can clearly see this one, which is right here. So I did, I followed the instructions for this kit. I used the stock springs as far as putting them back in the foul body assembly. So all those are there. Um, I did not use, I'm not going to use the stiffener plates, which are right there, because this tough plate said I did not need to use any of that and anybody from the last video who watched you saw that the whole valve body was taken apart like this that way I could clean everything and then I checked off step by step what I did to make sure everything you know was uh, back in there so all that is back in there uh, my manual valve I might get a new one um, like I said, I'm still deciding on a few parts because at this point, I just want to get this thing together. So, uh, it did find causes that this could cause problems if it's worn. So, you know, anything over 50,000 miles to me is, is, to me is a, it's over the hill per se as far as wear. So, I might go ahead and get another manual valve lever assembly. So, that's all there. Uh, let me just talk a little bit about what the J mod is. Even with the tough plate, I still had to drill uh, holes, which is this hole right here, this hole, uh, this one, this one, and this one. And those were, I just simply went to Home Depot. Uh -oh. You use the 764 for these holes that I just showed you. Um, those five holes, one of these on this tough plate, I believe is this one already had the big enough hole, so I didn't need to touch it. So that's good. Um, this is for the reverse. So this was a three thirty seconds hole and all this information is also online as well. And I also want to show you. A spring modification okay so what a J mod besides what I just showed you on the plate and like I say you could use 
a stock plate if it doesn't have any cracks where the two three accumulator hits at because if you have any cracks there it's going to cause you issues down the road because this bangs against this plate and could potentially cause cracks in the plate which is why um, I went to the tough plate so let me show you right quick on how let me show you what a J mod includes now and like I said you could do this 20 different ways there's many companies who sell different color springs different year springs which can be you know your own personal whatever now when you open your two to three which is going to be with a cap and then it's going to have a snap ring you take the cap off I did buy all these parts new so I'm not going to worry about anything of leakage or anything because if it's a high mileage car you probably want to go ahead and just grab those those are pretty cheap the whole assembly is pretty cheap maybe 50 bucks and they give you everything <clears throat> so for the most part a J mod will include taking either this you could take this spring off leave a small blue one you could take the blue one out and do that one or their shift kits that come with their own custom style springs whether it's a shorter one stiffer one softer one that's why I state there's many different ways but for a hard shift you remove both of these completely there is a bottom one don't even worry about the bottom one make sure this is back in the board push it all in put the cap on the C clip and that's that um, there's some companies who sell a different bottom spring you could do a bottom spring change that's why I state you know many transmission companies do different things so it's up to you with the two to three when you look in your under your transmission you have the top piece the cap and then you have a spring you can also do the same thing with this spring with certain transmission companies for what I'm doing I'm going to completely remove that drop that and then I'm going to put the cap on top of that cap or whatever this piece is called what they call it this is okay yeah so this is what that cap piece is and it comes with the plate so don't have to worry about that so that's that now like I say you can buy a spring superior sell springs there's other transmission companies that sell older springs you know they you know they can give you the rate and what they'll do and all that so that's how that works so you could like I state you could do that many different ways so if anybody has any questions like I say you could it's up to you um, you could talk to you know I'm trying I'm this is the harder shift right here no bottom and completely remove it no bottom on the two to three and no bottom spring on the one to two or did I get that wrong sorry about that one to two two to three so you could either harder shifts no bottom spring no bottom spring you want something a little soft you could do the drill to the plate or get a custom spring or whatever from whatever transmission company you talk to and do something similar to this and still get a milder type shift so it's up to you guys and also I know a lot of people talk to me about tuning I will repeat get a SCTX4
this is your best bet. Don't go around with check engine lights because you modify something and did not get it to it. Get the X4, guys. Don't be cheap and talk about building a monstrous motor, changing the exhaust, changing rear ends, and don't even get a tuner. Get yourself a tuner, guys. These things, this is a used one. It worked fine. I don't have no problem with it since I got it. Um, it was like new when I purchased it. You know, you save about 100 bucks. Get an unmarried one because you try to get it new. It's 400 bucks. Get a X4. Don't worry about the X3s. Skip that. And also, let me show you another thing, folks. In order to just get this build underway, get this transmission out the way, I'm going to take these assemblies to the transmission shop and just have them put the bags in there, uh, the bushings in there for me. Because um, I, I did find what I need, but the cost versus, you know, getting other like, laptop and everything was before that. So I can save money right now and simply go to the transmission shop. They say they will push the bushings in for me, but not a whole lot. And then I also need to get forward spring assembly back in there um i <clears throat> the c clamps i have are just too heavy to get those back in there so um i'm going to take these to the transmission shop get them to pop them in there um oh also the planetary or the planetary so i just want to show you guys that um so i can get this underway um appreciate that Stay tuned for the next update. Uh, hopefully, um, I gave you guys some information and some insight to what I'm trying to do. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Crown Nation.